Now, today's top stories and Power of Five weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Hello, I'm Danita Harris, and here's a look at today's top stories. A bill allowing teachers to be armed in the classroom is now law in Ohio. Governor Mike DeWine signed House Bill 99 this morning. Under the legislation, teachers and other adult school employees can have guns on school grounds if they complete the required 24 hours of initial firearm training and eight hours of training every year after. Schools can opt out of the bill. Districts that participate can choose to require more firearm training outside of what the state requires. Governor DeWine also announced funding in the state budget that would create behavioral assessment teams in every Ohio school district and other safety measures. Three men arrested in connection with the beating death of a teenager outside the I Promise School in Akron are being held on $1 million bond each. Deshaun Stafford Jr., Tyler Stafford, and Donovan Jones pleaded not guilty to murder and felonious assault charges in court today. The three were arrested more than a week after Ethan Liming was found dead following a fight. Gas prices remain at record highs and relief is nowhere in sight. According to AAA, the average price for a gallon of regular gas in Ohio is $5.05. That's up about 20 cents from just a week ago. High demand and low supply is driving up gas prices as well as the war in Ukraine. Now for your weather, here's meteorologist Ramisha Shade. Things could get pretty interesting or maybe not so interesting for this evening as we have a big threat for severe storms. Category two out of five slight risk for Cleveland, Akron, Canton, New Philly. But the highest threat for that wind damage will be in our western areas. Category three enhanced risk back towards Sandusky, Norwalk, Shelby, Mansfield. So be prepared this evening through early Tuesday for the potential for maybe multiple lines of thunderstorms that could be severe. Damaging wind would be the main threat. We're talking about wind between 60 to likely 75 miles per hour, low tornado threat. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.